Jesuit sodomy advocate Father James Martin continues without any pushback from the bishops. Instead, it's faithful Catholics who are pushing back. William has more on the latest resistance in Jersey. Catholics in the Garden State held a rosary rally in the pouring rain to counter a Jesuit with an anti-Catholic agenda. Within the New York metropolitan area, the Sisters of Mercy in Wachung, New Jersey, recently hosted pro-gay Jesuit James Martin for a virtual talk on prayer. The Catholics gathered across the highway from the Mercy Sisters grounds before the online meeting scheduled for that evening. Wolves in shepherd's clothing, uh, he's leading people away from the faith, and uh, I'm here to protest that. Uh, we, need strong, we need strong shepherds. Uh, he's not one of them. Before the discussion, with the mics hot, Martin and the sisters shared a laugh. Did you have fun with the protesters today? We <laughs> did. You are about 13. They wow. They stayed at the foot of the hill, and that was fine. And, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're protesting, protesting, talking about prayer. Exactly. Mm -hmm. People are crazy. Did they get rained on? Yes. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Of course, the Catholics gathered were not pushing back on the prayer talk in and of itself. In fact, those gathered were praying the rosary while calling out Martin for his public work to normalize sin. They held signs like, Father Martin promotes unnatural vice and purity is for everyone. And Martin even mentioned his pro-gay work in the prayer talk. I do a lot of work with LGBTQ people, okay? And, uh, you know, I sometimes get, you know, uh, protests and things like that. If I felt this was just me doing it, yeah, it would, it would be much harder. But I feel like, you know, and it's been confirmed many times by my superiors and people I work with and uh, that it's that this is a call. One priest requesting anonymity attended the rosary rally. After speaking with one of the Mercy Sisters, Father explained Martin's operation. Father Martin offers his feel on prayer. And it gives him in the door. But this is a thin veneer of orthodoxy to what he says. Prayer is not really fundamentally his message. Father Martin is all about validating sodomy. The Sisters of Mercy hosted Martin through their house of prayer, situated behind a statue of the Sacred Heart near the highway entrance. On the top of the hill is Mount St. Mary Academy, the Mercy Sisters' all-girl high school. Hua Chung is in the Matuchin Diocese, shepherded by Bishop James Cecchio. I emailed Bishop Cecchio, and I also called over to the bishop's office, asking him to um, prevent this from happening, and I got no response. We love our bishop, and we're praying for him, but, um, you know, as a spiritual father, he should provide and protect and be the gatekeeper of our diocese. In 2018, while Cecchio dismissed or ignored outcry from faithful Catholics regarding another Martin talk, he made sure to invite the Jesuit to his own residence for what Martin called a wonderful discussion. Metuchen is where disgraced homosexual pederast Theodore McCarrick began as a bishop. McCarrick attended James Cecchio's Episcopal ordination. Well, William, great uh, coverage out there. It was wonderful you were able to, to go out there in person actually and cover that. It was uh, amazing to me, I think it's shocking to everybody, when the sisters are more or less cackling with Father about the, the protesters there, good faithful Catholics praying their rosary, and he's asking them, did they get rained on? Oh, that was good, and the sisters are cackling. And, and, and they don't even wear habits. I mean, how would you know they're a sister anyway? You, you'd have no idea that these were sisters, right? And they're, it, it's exactly what it is. They're cackling. I heard earlier, I heard Father Altman say they were like witches out there under the cauldron. That sounds and like it, It's yeah. exactly what it looks like. And, you know, it seems like, it seems like the more off you are, the more love and compassion they have for you. So if you're like a transgender, that's more appealing to them than if you're a faithful Catholic. And the closer you are to truth and trying to get closer to God, the more they laugh at you. It's well, like, Father uh, James Martin, Mr. Compassion right there, and he's saying, I hope you, you know, did they get rained on and all gleeful like that? Where's all the compassion right, there? Right, exactly. Uh, the, 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 the other thing that hit me right there is he purposely diverts and says they are all there protesting my prayer talk as if they really didn't want him praying. As you pointed out, they're praying the rosary there, you know. It was called uh, a rosary rally. What a diversion. What were they really there protesting as you uh, as you understand? They're, they're protesting his ultimate message. The prayer the prayer thing, that's just a ruse. And there's a million priests out there who could tell you about prayer. You could read a book on it, whatever. He's there giving you a couple things about contemplation, big deal, but his real purpose is uh, is to get in there. It's like a like a fox trap, right? That's the, that's the thing that makes you step in it, and then bam! So that's what he's really. And there his for. meal because message is. That's his real message is sodomy. He mentioned. He even mentioned it in the, 
in the talk itself, you couldn't help but bring up his LGBTQ ministry, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about St. Ignatius of Loyola's LGBTQ ministry. You know, yeah. Come on. So it's uh, it's diabolical.